Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. At the beginning of tonight's Emmerdale, Belle Dingle made her way back to wishing well and confessed to Vinny, Sam, and Lydia that she had slain Tom King. After a scary altercation with Tom yesterday, Belle used an axe to stab her abusive husband. Because the incident was so frightening and painful, Belle thought she had murdered him when he landed onto an old mattress. Vinny was directed to check the apartment next to the home to see if Tom was there while Belle told Sam and Lydia what had transpired. Vinny was appalled at how he was still laying unconscious, the axe protruding from his back. Vinny gave Sam and Lydia an update before returning to the Dingles, where they collaborated to devise a strategy. In order to spare Belle further anxiety when dealing with the authorities, they had to dispose of Tom's body and provide an alibi. Lydia then assumed command, giving Sam and Vinny the order to relocate Tom. However, they realized Tom was gone as soon as they got back to the spot. Tom had miraculously survived an axe stabbing to his back, a development that absolutely none of us had anticipated. After removing the weapon from his body, he left the Dingle property and proceeded along a trail through the woods. Tom lost consciousness as soon as he reached a road. Liam, Johnny McPherson, who was out jogging, noticed him. Vinny and Sam arrived as Tom was taken into an ambulance. They asked Liam what had happened and if they thought Tom would die, but they were left with little information and had to go to the hospital on their own. Lydia, meanwhile, remained in Belle's company. Though she made a valiant effort to remain composed, the idea that Tom was in the hospital sent her into a severe panic. Belle fled the area in a car, afraid of what Tom would say if he woke up. Vinny and Sam were chatting with Jimmy, Nick Miles, and Nicola, Nicola Wheeler, as Belle was on her way there. A doctor then contacted the pair and said that they were having trouble controlling Tom's agony. A distraught Belle showed just as Nicola and Jimmy were being led into a family room. Belle told Vinny and Sam that she had taken another life and would not know how to live with herself if Tom died. She added that Tom would put her in jail if he lived regardless of how the consequences turn out. Belle believed her life was gone. In anticipation of this Friday's Emmerdale episode, viewers found themselves pleading with the management following Thursday night's axe attack, which left one character in danger of death. In the course of their domestic abuse narrative, villain Tom King attacked his wife Belle Dingle with the weapon when she attacked him. Belle feared for her life as he battered her and then pursued her. Belle took up the axe and stuck it in Tom's back, but not before Tom managed to seize the shotgun Belle had run away with. On Thursday night, the show concluded with a dead wicked Tom on the ground. The question of whether Tom is still alive will now have to wait until Friday's program, amid rumors that someone else may have attacked him and suggestions that he may make a comeback. Since spoilers do not reveal Tom's destiny, viewers are now afraid he has been brutally killed off. It was recently confirmed that actor James Chase had filmed his last sequences in the role. Previous reports indicated he may stay on the show for several months, but it seems likely that this is how he will end things. An ambulance would indeed arrive, and it would obviously be for Tom, according to spoilers and photographs, the immediate aftermath will be seen on Friday night, when we'll learn what happened to Tom and whether Belle will get in trouble. Fans, however, don't care about Tom, all they want is for him to live on for Belle's benefit. Fans furiously criticized the show on Thursday, believing the soap opera had killed him off and fearing Belle would not receive justice for the mistreatment he has subjected her to. Supporters begged the soap opera to keep him alive and force him to take responsibility for his misdeeds. A viewer wrote, Killing Tom off is a mistake, I really wanted a court case storyline where Belle gets real justice which gives hope to real-life domestic abuse survivors, soaps barely go down this route and it's frustrating. Abusers like Tom need to be seen to get proper justice, remarked a different devotee. Not merely a quick escape from death. Here, do not put an end to him. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad Belle fired him, but I wanted Tom to get full dingle justice, remarked a third viewer. He hasn't endured enough if he is dead already. Awful ending hashtag Emmerdale, a fourth fan said. You did domestic violence no justice. Very amazing narrative. Disgrace to the screenwriters. Tom ought to have gone on trial. What about that foolish Amelia? Another remark read, Belle's been through enough she deserves justice and for Tom to be exposed for what he really is and see him sent down FFS. 
Viewers of Emmerdale have conjectured about the potential rescuer of Belle Dingle from Tom King's mistreatment during a startling dinner party episode. Emotions were running high after the disastrous dinner party in last night's Emmerdale episode, which affected two couples, Rona Goskirk, Zoe Henry, and Marlon Dingle, Mark Charnock, as well as Belle Dingle, Eden Taylor Draper, and Tom King, James King. Belle and Tom's predicament appears to be more difficult to fix than Rona and Marlon's marriage problems. Seemingly distraught over what happened the night before, they've decided to go to marriage counseling. However, Belle never had such a settlement following an event where her toxic relationship with Tom turned violent. While tending to her burned hand from the dinner party, Tom tried to place the responsibility on Belle by calling it an accident. He criticized her, stating, You're determined to make me feel guilty about this, aren't you, as well as you act like I deliberately set out to hurt you. Bell, however, refused to back down and pleaded, You burned my hand, but her request was ignored. Tom defended himself by saying, We were having words about something incredibly insensitive and selfish you did, as he carried on his dismissive behavior. I had no idea that your hand was in the faucet, look, I have no idea what you believe transpired, but your hand was there for a little moment. In less than a moment. I apologize, but don't you think that you're using this as a diversion from the true problem, the express rights? As Belle withheld the truth about her injury, viewers became increasingly frustrated, and at the end of the show, her decision to reverse her course incited outrage. On Twitter, fans voiced their displeasure and offered their own predictions about how this plot would develop. Emmerdale is getting ready for the passing of one of its most well-known characters, Zack Dingle, who will be buried in the soap opera with a moving burial. The tragic decision was made since Zack's actor, Steve Hallowell, passed away himself last year, and the soap opera executives felt it would be an appropriate remembrance of the actor if Zack also received a farewell. Zack was mentioned on air during yesterday night's episode of Emmerdale. Zack last featured on the show last summer before Steve took a sabbatical due to his poor health. Jeff Hordley's character Kane Dingle declared he was going to visit his uncle in Scotland after getting a worried call from his daughter Debbie, who resides with Zack. According to Sophie Roper, producer of Emmerdale, the events surrounding Zack's passing and his burial would probably be very difficult for every one of the characters involved, including the ITV soap opera cast. The Dingles have been and will continue to be the core of our show for 30 years, the speaker declared. Naturally, as many of you are aware, we recently lost Steve, and it was a very sad occasion. Therefore, a Dingle burial will be held in the upcoming months to commemorate the legacy of the late Zack Dingle. There are a lot of people who work on the show and obviously a lot of our viewers who have grown and loved Zack for many, many years, so it's very difficult, Sophie continued. However, it will be a very worthy homage to such a legendary figure in the near future. According to probate records made public earlier this week, the star's estate was worth £63,030 net. He was living at Orforth, West Yorkshire Street Helena's Caravan Park, close to Leeds, when he drafted his will in November 2019. A somber statement, Emmerdale revealed the news of Steve's passing and said he would forever be synonymous with the enduring soap. The statement said, Emmerdale can confirm that Steve Hallowell, our beloved Zach Dingle, has peacefully passed away with tremendous sadness and a heavy heart. We would ask that his family, friends, and loved ones' privacy be respected while they grieve for his death. Our thoughts and prayers are with them during this extremely trying time. Forever, Emmerdale will be associated with Steve, the head of the Dingle family and a proud defender. It has always been impossible not to smile when you think about him because of his heart and sense of humor in whatever he accomplished.